got it, Papa. There is no room. Now, we've discussed this. She'll step on everything. She'll jump out and she'll get killed. Now, I don't want to bring her, period. I don't care. I said no, and I meant no. Bye, then. Paula, I'm not leaving you here. Now, just turn Scarlet loose. Give her to Becky. Something, anything, but get in this truck now, alone. Make me. I'll look after him, Ma. I promise. Make him wear his flannels. Beat off the women. Paula. Lord, guide our feet along safe paths for a more prosperous tomorrow, and thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for making Papa take Scarlet. Thank you for this ferocious child.
Hamilton, you stay over here, just for one minute, and play. Uh, my truck broke down up above, and well, we were wondering if we couldn't. Well, we saw the smoke from your chimney. Ma'am, my daughter is freezing. Could she come in and warm herself for a while? People don't walk down this side of the mountain, especially with a pig. <laughs> You can come in here, I suppose, for a bit. Just for a minute, Papa. Just to warm up. I can't move my fingers. Thank you. My name is Waylon Jackson. This is my daughter, Paula. We appreciate this. Put some more life in that fire, Mr. Jackson. I don't put the poplar in the back. It won't reflect the heat. Here. I can see you haven't any idea. Move over. This will be all right with your husband, then, Mrs. Whatever. My name is Wright. It's Miss Collie Wright. Miss? You, you live alone here, then? Well, I had a dog with me up until a couple of weeks ago. So when one of the Campbell's dogs killed her, I kicked one of them so hard he landed in the stream. <laughs> With these boots. They're my papa's boots. I like to wear them because they don't let the water in the same as my shoes do. And they're fine for kicking dogs. My papa offered me another ride away, but well, I might leave this place. My brother Young said he'd give me the money. I have an uncle who lives in California, I believe. What's well, St. Louis? I might go live with him. That's the prettiest baby I ever saw. <laughs> well, others have said so. What's your baby's name? Jonathan. And we call him by his full name. John Wright is too abrupt, don't you agree? It's like two spikes. Now, Jonathan Wright is someone to be accounted for. <laughs> so, you out of work like the rest of the country? What's your trade? I'm a clockmaker. I make clocks. I never heard the lack. Is there some place nearby that we could stay? I don't want to be a nuisance. No, nowhere. You'll have to stop here. Excuse me, Mr. Jackson. Would you mind lighting that lamp, please? Your husband is off working somewhere, then? No. 
He ain't here is all. He passed away. Leave her, Papa. You know, I had a pig as a pet when I was a child. Dogs and cats will sleep on your feet, but a pig in bed is nothing but bristles and sharp hooves, don't you find? Papa makes me leave Scarlet outside. Well, I shouldn't let you in, Mr. Jackson, but for that pig. The rock house isn't much, but it's got a bed and a cot. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Good night. 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 Quick, Papa, let's hurry up. bed do you call this? For one night, Paula, we can stand it. You know, his hands are as soft as Mama's, Jonathan. And lets his child rule him. do if they killed me? Hmm. What? I'm all you have. I can't take risks. What you think? <laughs> what you think, Jonathan? Not much of a man, is he? Hmm? There's a man's razor behind the picture on the shelf there, Collie. Does it belong to this one you won't discuss? Why don't you take him into the bedroom and sing him to sleep if you can? There you go. Got him? I vote no, if you care. 
I care. Now, would you push the birdie, please? Thank you. Does Jonathan's father come here often? I've told you all that's to be told, Mr. Jackson. My brothers ask me every time they get a chance, and my mother's angry. It's broken my father's heart. Now, that's enough. clock in one of your suitcases. You can mount it up there on that wall. Oh, I do miss the sound of the clock. The company. Yes, maybe I do. You know, my mama, she wanted me to lose Jonathan. So I... Moved in up here. My brother Milton, who's a blacksmith, he piped the water in. And my brother Gudger, who runs the store in town with Papa, he gives me the canned goods I need. Papa gave me the bees and the cow. And my brother Young, <laughs> well, he brings me venison and bear when he hunts. I am treasured, Mr. Jackson. If not in the bosom of my family, Mama feeling as she does. Close to it. You were going to tell me about Jonathan's father. No, I wasn't. Well, if you have an extra towel, I'll bathe in the river. <laughs> Tonight, the water's like ice. My family's Norwegian. We used to cut ice to swim when I was a boy. We swam all winter. The Campbell's dog died following in that stream from the shock of the cold. I'm sweaty and I don't want to offend you. What do you mean, offend me? Well, you know exactly what I mean. I am not what is called a loose person, Mr. Jackson. Well, I didn't mean you were. Just because I have a baby doesn't mean... I didn't mean to suggest anything. I didn't say that. Well, I, I suppose I was... Uh, I didn't say that. Give you any more credit, Lester? We're just... going to trade this time. Well, I don't want chickens and eggs. I want cash. I got seven children. Can't do without medicine. I'm sorry. I... Your papa would have. I'm running the store now. Papa never would have let a child go without medicine. But you didn't give him the medicine. Help yourself, you always do. I haven't had breakfast yet, Lester. Have you got a man up there, Connie? Thank you, ma'am. Yep. Yeah. And his daughter, name of Paula. Where'd he come from? Off the mountain. 
What, yes, did he? Day before. Oh, they're leaving today. You know, you just about scared us all to death, sneaking around last night. Well, you have to expect your family to watch after you, Carly. corner of the store to repair clocks. <laughs> I can't take what's Gudger's away from him. It's just a corner for a week or two. I'm not going to do it. Papa, the Campbells stole all his clothes out of his truck. The engine, the wheels, everything. Oh, I worry so about you, Polly. You're always into trouble, getting others into trouble, always, always plowing your own fur. Your life is so complicated, so, so secretive. I'm trying to solve all that. Well, it sure doesn't look like it. You know, your mother is still deeply hurt about what you did. Don't hurt her again. For a week or two? I don't even know this man. Yeah. I'm asking. I've not asked for much. You told me once you wanted me to ask more of you, to let you help me. You, yes. But help a man I never saw? Come off the mountain? No, Collie. No. This is my father, William Wright. Waylon Jackson, pleased to meet you, sir. This is my daughter, Paula. So you fix watches, huh, Mr. Waylon? Jackson. Waylon Jackson. Guns, too, I suppose. Radios. A tinker. I make clocks, Mr. Wright. Build them from wood and metal. From scratch. From an idea. Is that the sort of thing a man does where you come from? Well, he's here, isn't he? Couldn't have done too well where he was if he's here. That's Gudger Wayland. It's my brother, Gudger. Gudger. Well, we need a school teacher around here, Mr. Wayland, and a preacher. We have no use for a tinker. He's not a tinker. Oh. You ever think about putting a clock in that church, Mr. Wright? Don't have no steeple. That can be built. What do we need a steeple for? My papa always say, buy more Bibles and stay. I can put a clock in a steeple, Mr. Wright. I can't do that to a Bible. We don't have the money, Papa. Don't even consider it. Make it strike every hour. Excuse me.
Steep land that belongs to the Campbells. They're the scum of the earth. Yeah, they burned my father's place to the ground. Knowing all the time he was crippled and dead, couldn't save himself. Makes my head hurt to think of. Oh, this is my, my son, Milton, the blacksmith. Uh, Jack Whalen. Mr. Whalen. Whalen Jackson. And that guy's his daughter, Paula. It is them Campbells that stripped hey. your car yesterday morning. Uh, uh, oh, Kylie. They're scum, Mr. Whalen. Mama, look here. Here is your best looking son. Now, Gudge, you come here and stand still a minute. Mama, look at the body on this man. They make bodies in Detroit that aren't as big as this. Pay no attention to young. Papa, look what you did. All in a few seconds, too. Oh, took more than a few seconds, son. <laughs> well, you set that picture in your mind. Let it be awarded to you. Oh, you lie. <laughs> Who are you? That's Mr. Whalen, you know. Jackson. My name is Waylon Jackson, I'm a clockmaker. It's good to meet you, Mr. Jackson. Who's this pretty little thing? Paula. Hi, Paula. He wanted to make us a clock for a church. Steeple clock. Like in Europe? Uh, we don't know how much it'll cost yet. Well, I'd want you to provide the materials, <clears throat> and I'd want a truck in payment. Will it have two or three or four faces and a striker? A striker? Like in London, Gudger. It can strike once a day. That's enough for people to set their watches. Hey, wake me up if it's struck at night. Oh. Now, listen here. We're going to have it strike all the hours on Mary One. You get used to it. Baby. I won't get used to it. Papa, Crawford's got a truck he wants to sell. Where's Crawford over at the store, Gudger? Well, are we making decisions, or are we hearing decisions already made? I never agreed to the clock. Well, I hope we do. I mean to use it for the rest of my life. What's left of it? Oh, Lord, Papa, don't go dying on us again. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, Papa, the older the bull, the stiffer the whole. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you what I'd rather say. A bell time. Oh. Eight-sided, graduating to four, which has a clock in it. Eight-sided? We need a big enough base for the track. A forge track? For the bear. In Europe, a bear comes out when the clock strikes. A life-size bear. Of course. On all fours or its hind legs. Hind legs. Black or brown. Black. Like the bears we have around here. With paws. Claws. Tongue, tail, everything. <laughs> Slobber. Yeah. <laughs> Might hook up to the spray. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Young. Are you serious or not? Mr. Jackson, can you make a bear? Yes. A tower? Yes. Well? Well, a tower would be better than a, a steeple. I, the church roof won't hold the weight. Sorry. Come along, Paula. Papa. Oh. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Yes! Mr. Whalen, take a look at what Milton has in the forge. Take a look at Crawford's truck. If it doesn't cost us, we'll do it. Yes, <laughs> Papa! <laughs> but we'll put off the bell. Oh, now. damn. He... <laughs> so, when are we going to start? Do some drawings right away. I'll be back in an hour. All right, Papa. Mr. Jackson's been a visit in Kylie. 
Mama said something. You're the man? She's just letting me use the rock house. I wouldn't stay there. I wouldn't. Cully, is there something about the rock room that could be a danger to follow? Who said there was? Well, Young was strange about it. <laughs> well, that's Young. You know something, Paula? These here mountains are two billion years old. Many times older than the Rockies. Older than the Himalayas. That's why they're so worn down. <laughs> they were bigger as babies than they are as old men. <laughs> we go get us a bear about this time of year, Mr. Whalen. You court my sister, you ought to come with. Nobody's courting nobody, Gudger. I don't want just anybody courting my sister. Demon Papa, make him stop. Well, what do you say, Mr. Whalen? What if I ran from the bear, Gudger? Which I might do. What then? Well, then we'd know. I know nothing of hunting or guns <laughs> or bears. You could learn if you were curious as to what sort of man you are. I'm not curious. I hope you aren't thinking of going. There's some things that are stupid to learn, like killing animals. I wonder what I'd do. I know what you'll do. You'll get yourself killed. You should listen to the child. And I'll never get to Philadelphia. I think I'd like to go anyway. Dear Lord, thank you for this good food. And stop Papa from going on the bear hunt. Amen. The case isn't finished yet, Collie, but it'll keep you company. Paula? Would you give it a swing? care of it now. I found it! My favorite knife! Yeah, I got paper! Now, I don't supply paper. If you need toilet tissue, you gotta carry your own! Hey, I'll finish him off. You go see if you can't find it. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. 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 Thank you, Mr. You'll have to show me how to load this. <laughs> hey, Papa, Milton and Young both are bringing new dogs. Yeah? You see the ghost of my dog, Harry. Say hello for me. Hey, here's a hat for you. Gotta be sure it's on safety all the time. Why are you doing this? <laughs> hey, Waylon, you can tear a few pages out of this here. <laughs> this is the way you load it. Be sure the bullet's forward, right? Take my new dog, McGregor. Ain't she pretty? <laughs> she's young, but she's tough. She'll learn. Call her Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> hey, boys, give us a hand here, will you? Fuck me. 
to sleep in the same room with that thing? <laughs> I don't quite like him either, Greg, but it's like owning a piece of lore, you know? A legend still breathing. But you don't pet him, I notice. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get going. Let's get Waylon in the woods, scare some man into it. <laughs> you get yourself a bear now. You come back by Sunday, Amos Crawford. Boy, I sure need this trip. <laughs> They don't stay long. They get tired of looking after themselves. Ever only all for thee. And there you go. Look at me, Collie. I look just like you. Well, kind of. <laughs> Holy! Hey, hey open the door! Get in there. Door. Lock you. Hey! <laughs> What's the door bolted for? I was going to bed. Come from a razor. Well, I'll take it. Got a sweet taste of you. <laughs> Who's that? Alva Jackson. What's she doing here? She's visiting. Don't. You tell anybody you see me here, and I'll slit your tongue so it's working like a snake's. Things in your head. A bear sleeps with a cow bear if he can, just like you and me. He don't. He sleeps alone. He humps and runs like you and me. <laughs> hey, speaking of humping, boys, when we gonna give old Waylon our advice? He's a courting my sister. With a bastard, baby. Seriously? Oh. It's your spirited, Jack. Just don't wear yourself out, boy. <laughs> no likelihood of that. I don't know. Did you ever see a man drive a pole in the ground and make a hole? Yes, I suppose. Well, did you ever see the hole wear out for the pole then? <laughs> Just like the world's fire keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. Hey, boy. 
Let's find our spot. Well, I'm for Chicka Point. All right. Well, Colonel, let's go in the hut. All right, wait a You can take that little ridge right up yonder. It's closer to the cabin, and you won't get lost. It's a little safer, too. <laughs> I'll be on the ridge over for you. Oh, oh damn, wait for me! You assholes! <laughs> Ain't waiting for nobody, country. Yeah. This is a good spot you got here. Little hair of the dog that bit you. Oh. <laughs> Was I drunk last night, or did McGregor claim he'd had 150 women? Shit, I don't think he can count that high. <laughs> so how you liking it so far? Well, aside from being hungover, cold, hungry, dirty, flea-bitten. <laughs> yeah, aside from that. I think I already miss Collie and Paula more than I thought I would. <sighs> I wish you weren't so fond of Collie, Waylon. What a thing to say, huh? Why? That's Roy. Come on, this is it. Trying to keep him off young. Yourself a skin. Hell, I shot the goddamn bear. Oh, you son of a bitch. Whaling shot killed him. You were the undertaker. Oh, is that gonna be the story? I saved your goddamn life, young. You were naked to the bear, you back to a stone wall. Whaling was riding without a saddle under his ass and with Papa's old antique pistol in his hand. Shut your damn mouth. Don't you tell me what you do. You son of a bitch. Get him, yeah. Stop it. Uh. 
Take your goddamn skin. Hey, lady! My truck broke down, and I was wondering if I... If I couldn't come in there and warm myself. <laughs> I'll get some tanning from Gudger tomorrow. Fix that skin, or it'll stink. My wife walked into the sea, Connie. You don't have to tell me. I want to. It's peaceful like it is now. Leave it. We worried and prayed and you came back. And that's enough. She wanted us to call her Lynn. Ruth. She was crazy. She was in terrible pain. She thought if she were someone else, she... she wouldn't have the pain, I suppose. She never said. Marie for a while, then Lynn. We were at the ocean, and I was finally fixing the screen door, not paying attention. She walked into the sea to end the pain. Young, start with these rocks on top. <laughs> Want them cross clean put in now? As soon as he gets the rocks in. What do you think of these, Waylon? Seem pretty smooth. Are they helping Papa? Does he shut the bear, Uncle Will? Yep. 
Are they that stupid? <laughs> yep. Even young? Oh, no. Young's helped your papa right from the beginning. Young doesn't wait for man to prove himself. Here's something, Paula. Sometimes I dream about being a near boy again. And whenever I do, it's not me. It's young I dream of. I smile at all the women, change wrongs to right, walk only the high road. <laughs> <laughs> young silly, not stupid. Silly. I like silly men. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> First time I loved him, it was here. Jonathan's father. He was Young's friend. His best friend for a year or two. Because he's forbidden, I think. Young said not to fall all over him. <laughs> not to fall all over him, but... Well, I fell in love so crazy. All my emotions swung on the hope of him. If I love someone, I do. As I did with you. Did you fall all over me? <laughs> Didn't you notice? The first time I agreed to meet him alone, I came here, scared to death. I crept over there, maybe thinking I'd maybe not reveal myself. Maybe I'd hold on to my virginity. First thing I knew, he was on top of me, kissing me. Devouring me like a starved man. I wish he'd been more careful. You don't mind? Only that he hurt you. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For the boy. It's over, Cole. Over my ass. My baby's in bed in the other room. It's my boy, Colin. It was an accident. Don't you ever call my son a goddamn accident. What do you intend to do for him, Cole? Do you mean to marry his mother? Yes, I do. Not this goddamn mini. You can't. And you know it. You don't dare ask your father of mine. You got fur on you, Carly. Soft as these cats. Now let me see it. Go to hell. 
Used to show it to me all the time when I asked for it. Now you tell me to go to hell? Wow. You tell me who the other one is. Did you give him much of it yet, Colin? It's none of your business. None of my business? None of my business? I've been drowning in you for two years. And no woman has ever done that to me. Come on. That's all. Right. No. 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 You want to or not? No. A little anger won't hurt you. No. Please, I'll make it close. No. Come on. Jesus. Is it Christ himself? Is he a name? Jackson. What's he do? He's a clock maker. He stands there like a ghost staring at me. Look how he floats over the floor there. Call it where'd you find such a dear little fella? Does he have a voice? What's your name? Cole Campbell. Now, what do you two do together? Pray? Collie, would you like to make some coffee for us? Oh, you want coffee? Speak to me, great spirit. I think it's time we put all the cards on the table. You want the cards? Uh, he didn't mean... Hey! Let him talk. I'm listening, spirit. Ghost. Let her talk, too. She has the most to say. She has the baby. My boy. Her boy. That's your clock on the wall there, Ghost? Yes. My uncle and I made that in Pennsylvania. Get that clock out of my house. He gave me that clock. Cole, I'd like to talk to you about this family. Something you can't make. I love that clock. Go ahead with what you were saying, Spook. Why oh, say anything to you? Nothing but a trigger finger. Go ahead, use that damn Cole, thing. Hold on. Tell him to shut up, Collie. Lord, look at it. I'm Mr. Jackson. Collie? Mr. Jackson, like please. Nobody else is like a spirit or not. It doesn't have to Cole, be Cole, give me that gun. 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 Ghost, do you ever have your woman do a screen? Yes. Yeah. And who was that? Golly. Jesus, you got nerve. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Just don't come at me like that. I love him, damn it. Shut up, Golly. Spooky, you ever see my baby boy? Collie, go get me my baby. 
No, you're too drunk to hold him. Go get him. No. Hey. That's my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, John, who's that? Huh? Can you see him? No, me neither. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. How's that for a boy? Huh? My boy. Yeah. How's this for a family? Huh? Call me. Hey. So you want to talk to me? Now, come on. Let's talk. You want to talk? Let's talk. There you go. Yeah. Cole, I want to give Jonathan a home. Family. Mm. Provide for Collie and educate the boy. Mm. Are you the Holy Ghost? Mm? Even though it's difficult for one man to give his son up to another. Why should it be? He's never here. I beat my head on the barn door once. I was so lonely for you. Look at you now. You're drunk. You're mean. Stinking. But... Cole, they need a family. And who the hell are you to tell me what my own needs? Your own what? Wife and son. Why do you treat them like a whore, bastard? Afraid to hear me, ain't you? <laughs> you go rough for me. Do you know that spook? Oh! <gasps> 
Die, Cole. I'll go get his horse. <sighs> Frozen collie. Oh. <laughs> Wait, don't send him by the road. Why not? He, he always went home by the stream. He didn't want to leave tracks. Go on. <laughs> Zvico, get me out of here. My foot's caught in the stirrup. Tell me about you and Kylie. Could you get me out of there? Tell me you're the father. I'm the father. You gonna do right by her, Cole? Because I'm freezing. I'm dead. First, I want to know what you're gonna do. Go. Go. Get me out of you son of a bitch. Damn you to hell! Get your
I'm Nellie Crawford, Mr. Campbell. I've laid him out for burial. He was distorted worse than anybody I've done. I'm sorry it was cold. I, I know how we favor our youngest. I, I feel for you, sir. We all die, Mr. Wright. What say? We all die, Mr. Campbell. It is written the wages of sin are death. What say, Mr. Wright? Any sin here? An eye for an eye, Mr. Wright. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Why did his horse come here, Miss Wright? Crawford's boy found him down below the main road. Cole fell from his horse into the creek. Fell? Cole fell? <laughs> yeah, we want to have a look around. Jonathan was fathered by Cole Campbell, Bob. When did you find out? Well, I wasn't sure till uh, recently. I wasn't born to be a tinker, chimney sweep. Pruner of trees, I was intended to be an educated person who could think his way through tangles like this. But... Borrow gun of Papa's, Jack. Don't go unarmed. Coming across the field just now, I was thinking Campbell could shoot me from any tree. They can shoot as far as you can see. <laughs> what good does it do to carry a gun? You can shoot back. <laughs> if you're dead? You don't die immediately. You live a little while. It deters him. Papa's in the dining room. Paula, huh? help Mrs. Wright in the kitchen. All right, Papa. gave Mavis a list, knowing she'd show it to us. Read it, Mavis. From Wayland's bruised face, the broken window, the shot clock, and the stick of firewood, they know that Cole fought Wayland over at Collie's house. They know that Young wasn't home all night, and that Cole was put in the stream. They say he fought with someone from a rock in the river. It was someone who was there in the middle of the night. Well, sometimes they get so clever they just can't be believed. Thank you, Mavis. I go across the river. Tell them we're talking it over. Yes, sir, Mr. Wright. Close that door. Call it. I should stay, Paul. No. Yes. This time, yes. Here. Wouldn't the police help? Oh, hell. Can they trace a murder better than the Campbells? Can they choose among us better than we can ourselves? Somebody in this room. Uh, 
Might have been an accident. They won't accept an accident, not with Cole. You're not a stranger here, Oweta, not any longer. What? You had a reason to kill Cole. None of us has as good a reason. What are you telling him? Well, that he's one of us now, and he's no better than we are. He's not above doing as we decide here today. What are you saying, damn you? Only well, he can help the family same as I can of you, my son. Oh. All right, all right. Let's decide now. Well, Mother, we're through with thinking. The camels will take young, a gudger, a whaler. Take us for what? To even the score. Quiet down the fire rate that amongst them. Now we're to designate one of us? Unless we want him to. The one we choose will have to leave us forever. Or the Campbells will kill him. Young's without a family. I can easily leave Papa, confess from some other place, keep traveling. What about Gudger? Good God. <laughs> Papa, I've got a family in the store and I can't run off. Was Cole dead in the river, Gudger? Papa? I, I, I never saw him, I swear. Was he alive? No. And you saw him dead. No, I never saw him, Papa. Did you kill him? No! Did you let him die? Look what come at me, Did Papa. you let him drown? Papa, God damn it! Help me, Papa! Help me! All right. Jack, come to you. Young's offered, Gudger's refused. They won't take Milton, but they will take you. You fought Cole, you put him in the creek. On his horse, and he rode off. But he might have fallen off and drowned, would you say? Oh, God knows I've thought about it ever since then. <laughs> How long could a man live in that cold water? What, two minutes, I guess, three minutes, maybe, why? You know that when you put him on his horse? Well, I didn't know he was going down the creek. No. Collie. Yeah, go on. What about Collie? Nothing. I didn't want his horse going along the road with him maybe being seen. He always went home. By the creek. Well, did Cole choose the creek this time? Hey, you. I did. Well, I've concluded for myself what Cam was probably already concluded. I'll come out with you and Kai. We need to get you and your daughter out of here. And Kali. Oh. Well, if Kali goes off with you, none of it will be safe. Once Drury Campbell realizes who the boy is. We, I mean, they've worked everything else out, Jack. Papa, I'll go. No, you won't. And I'll tell you why. You never fought Cole. And put him on a horse and send him down the creek in the winter. Well, it didn't send him down the creek either. No, Collie did. You want her, Dave? Oh, Papa! Let us have another choice, for God's sake! Don't tear up Collie's life. You tore it up, sir, when you brought Cole into friendship with her.
What if it uh, wasn't one of us? What about the McGregors? Now, that's a possibility. You know, they've they fought the Campbells as long as we have. They could steal the white furs that uh, Cole Brock Collie could. Uh -huh. We could lay them out. Are we prepared to choose the McGregors? Well, if they stole the pelts, it's their crime, isn't it? What you say? Your move, Jack. It's been the best part of my life so far to be here. No. I'm not prepared to choose the McGregors. <laughs> I'm not prepared to choose anybody except myself. I may not have been entirely responsible. But in a large part, I was. My daughter and I will leave in the morning.
You surprise me. You come to morning cold with me. Was buried at dawn, big gathering. None from your side of the river. What is it, Miss Wright? What does she want, Harmon? She walked up the yard by SCU. That's all I know. Pleasant to have company, Miss Wright. Are you morning cold? Did you know him? I loved him. What'd she say, Pa? She said she loved coal. You people never claimed to love anyone over here before. That's true. I didn't know he ever went that side of the river except to hunt. He came to my house, Mr. King. The night he died? Many times. Harmon, did you know that? I sure as hell didn't know it, Pop. Am I the only one in this family that's been kept in the dark? For God's sakes. Call Margaret. Get, get, get your sister up here. Margaret! Margaret! Papa, what is it? Oh, my God. That's right, come to visit, Margaret. Come to mourn Cole with us. Did you know he visited her house? Cole? No, Papa, not Cole. Margaret raised Cole from when his mother died, Miss Wright. That boy could drive an eight yoke oxen team when he was 14. I worked side by side with him. Wore me out. the prettiest babies ever I saw. Look at that, Margaret, a million dollar smile. Did you ever see a better smile? Papa. What's this baby's name, Miss Wright? Jonathan. Yeah. Your ma's gonna have to buy you a pony, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Mr. Campbell, I've come here to say something to you. I want you to let the matter of Cole's death go by without taking revenge. I couldn't convince this pack of men around me to let it slide if I wanted to. A life for a life, Miss Wright. Does that have to mean a life lost? Does that have to mean a death for a death? I don't follow your meaning. What you, what you mean, Margaret? I've heard of sacrifices made of a person's own life. Are you offering me yourself? No, sir. I'm offering you Cole's baby. Pa, should say anything, Pa. I can't have my brothers killed or Mr. Jackson for something I got myself into. Cold had a scar on him. Two, actually. Oh, God. Um, there was one on his right hip and a long scar on the inside of his thigh where he claimed a bear ripped him. How did you meet? Well, he was Young's friend. They hunted together in Tennessee. We're inseparable because of the risk. Where did you meet? In the north woods near the falls. And Cole came to your house? 
Yes, sir. How many times? I don't know. Many times. What other men have you been with, Miss Wright? No other men, Mr. Campbell. In my experience, an unwed woman who will lie down with one can be had by all. I never came close to another man. Love this baby, Miss Wright. God, yes. He's my whole life. You don't think I'd settle for a visit for Cole's life, do you? You have to leave him here. Oh, my Lord. Hush, Margaret. Until you die. His life for his father's. You spare my brothers and Mr. Jackson. We have a deal. feel so light. Where did you go so early, Collie? Where's Jonathan? Jonathan. The jury came. No. No. He agreed to take him. brothers. You, you gave him Jonathan? You couldn't have. Papa. Till Drury dies. You love him.
Moment. Like that, see? Now, if you have to saw the hide, that means your knife's too dull. Margaret? That's the one kill cold, Papa. If I want him killed, I'll kill him myself. Thank you. One, Harmon. Supper? Hmm. I've come to ask you to bring Jonathan across the river at Easter. Here's a deal, Mr. Jackson. She'll not get him back. I'm marrying Carly Wright, and I'd like him there. You killed Cole! You and her two brothers! I would have killed you, but for the trade. Cole didn't die because of us, Mr. Campbell. None of us across the river. What's he mean, Harmon? He died because of you, sir. God damn it, don't come into my camp and accuse me. He was afraid of you. Cole, afraid? He was in love. In love with Collie Wright. Afraid to tell you that. Cole wasn't afraid of anything. If that were true, he'd be alive. He'd be married, raising his son, a bond between the Wrights and your family. Give me my gun. I'm not done. You're done. You're going to die, Mr. Campbell. If you're lucky, you have another 10 years left, but the boy will forget his mother by then. By right, then, he'll be a Campbell for life. Exactly. Turned over to people he hates, people who hate the people he loves. Can you do that to him? Did you swing me, Pa? quickly as possible. Time, Mr. Jackson. Wait. Now.
Bless this clock. Keep it accurate. Uh, thank you for sending us a man who believed he could make such a thing. And in the making of it, could inspire and unite us. And thank you for suggesting to him that he could make my daughter happy. Uh, one is as silly as the other, Lord. Neither one of them does anything the regular way, so help them, Lord. These two need more help than most to find in each other a future to cherish. Depended too much on faith, but being with you makes a believer of me. I only hope it's not too late. Oh, darling, all I have to do is catch some lightning in a bottle. Just one little miracle. Thank you. 